I am the one who knocks. <laughs> What's up, ladies and germs? Welcome to another edition of Mad Movie Review. I'm your host, Mad Dog. Today, I'm talking about the Power Rangers movie. This movie is still in theaters, so if you do not want your viewing pleasure ruined, go ahead and shut this down. Start with the cast. Uh, stars. Becky G. Watch me take it up, then I break it down. I don't play sports, but it's a touchdown. America got a thing for the skates. They love me. Black Chuck is black scully, love the Pele Pele. about five ordinary teens that must become something extraordinary um, when they learn that their small town of Angel Grove and the world is on the verge of being destroyed by an alien threat. Chosen by destiny, our heroes quickly discover they are the only ones who can save the planet. But to do so, uh, they will have to be, they will have to overcome their real life issues, and before it's too late, band together as the Power Rangers. So that's that's the whole theme about it. It's basically the same thing um, that the series was back in the day. Um, if you don't remember the series back in the day, um, you're either probably old as dirt or a millennial. Um, the Power Rangers were given a mission to protect the life forms on Earth and look after Zoe Crystal, the Zoe Crystal. <clears throat> However, the Green Ranger, Rita Repulsa, um, eventually betrayed them. The Red Ranger, Zordan, Zordon, um, Brian Cranston, that's why I did the, you know what I mean. The Red Ranger um, takes the... Uh, the power source, Power Rangers, Power Coins, and hides them while getting some assistance from Alpha 5 to perform um, a meteor strike, killing Zordan and sending Rita, Rita um, to the bottom of the sea and destroying the dinosaurs, which is fucking crazy because they wanted to add this on because, you know, the... Um, the uh, Zords themselves, the uh, supposedly like dinosaurs or whatever, but it's funny because some of them come from different eras of dinosaurs anyway. There's like the Mastodon, you know what I mean? <laughs> the Mastodon T-Rex, I don't believe we're even alive the same time as each other, which is fucking crazy. A pterodactyl get, you know what I mean? Might have still had some remnants, rem remnants of them during the Ice Age, but who knows, right? Um, in uh, Angel Grove, where the series actually took place in, too. Um, the five teenagers found the coins and became super-powered. Jason's father finds Rita Repulsa's body because he's a fisherman. Um, and she's, like, frozen and shit and gross-looking. It's cool because it looks almost like a horror movie. You know, she, like, kills motherfuckers. It's pretty dope. Um... Let's see, Rita uh, goes to collect gold from, so she can raise up um, a uh, minion, Goldar. Remember, Goldar was like the cat-looking thing. It was kind of Egyptian gold. But in this movie, it's like this gigantic fucking beast with wings and shit and uh, no face, which is really weird because it had no face and its body's constantly molting like... Um, like um, Kind of like uh, Clayface in the animated series of Batman. Um, so the five teenagers stumble upon this by uh, this spaceship by accident. 
Uh, they meet Alpha 5, which basically pimp slaps the hell out of them and forces them to stay there. Um, uh, they awaken Zordon, and Zordon's like doing the same old bullshit like he did when he was uh, Mr. White. You know, saying basically these kids aren't worthy enough, you know what I mean? What the fuck are they? Um, I should be doing this myself. I should be able to come back to life and kick Rita's ass. Um, you know what I mean? Kind of manipulating him. Just like he did his, uh, his uh, Heisenberg to Jesse. I was waiting for him to say that to Jesse. Jesse. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he didn't do it, so I thought that had been funny. Uh, um, no dating. There's not really any kissing going on. Uh, you know, there's no relationship uh, uh, other than the friendship of these kids who don't know each other but actually ran into each other during um, a... Um, a uh, what do you call it, the uh, detention, which kind of, to me, was funny. The scene itself, the, the beginning scene, and for them, uh, kind of reminded me like the Breakfast Club. You had the bully, you had the, you know, the jock, you had the, the cheerleader, you had the, you know what I mean, this rebel, uh, rebel kind of chick or whatever. You have all these people in there, you know what I mean, like the Breakfast cr Club. Um, one of them uh, is Billy... And instead of doing the nerdy little white dude, they had, um, his character was replaced by an autistic, uh, black nerdy kid. Um, Jason was still the, um, the jock, but was on probation, had a freaking ankle monitor, which is funny, you know what I mean? To see that kind of stuff being put in there, like his whole name was ruined for being in, in the sports program because of a stupid mistake that he made, really dumb shit. Um, there's two car accidents in, the, in this movie that fucking are insane. The way that they show it is absolutely just, it's, it's almost frightening. You know what I mean? Um, they, um, uh, what do you call it? Zach is not the black kid this time. He's an Asian kid with a dying mother. So there's that story. Becky G, she's the shit in this movie, man. <clears throat> I think a lot of kids that see this movie, a lot of, especially a lot of Latinas, like, like she's the baddest chick in the movie, right? And she's fearless. She's fearless, but she's kind of, um, I think they're trying to say in the movie that she's a lesbian and her family doesn't like it. Um, Rita Repulsa almost gets close to kissing her, which is fucking crazy to me. I actually would have enjoyed seeing that. <laughs> that would have been kinky. <laughs> yeah, these kids, you know, they, they finally get together. They finally get trained. They finally turn into Power Rangers at the end of the movie. Um, Billy's the first one to, to become, you know, to, to morph into his, uh, his blue, uh, ranger uniform and stuff like that, trying to break up the kids from fighting each other. Um, but I think, uh, I think Zach likes Becky G in this movie. He's like, always like trying to have her, you know, next to him and stuff like that, whatever. And I think he's kind of digging her. And I think Jason's kind of digging Kimberly. I think those are the two relationships that we'll probably end up seeing in the movie. If... They don't make Becky G a lesbian. <clears throat> so, um, let's see what happens. Anyway, to make long story short, they defeat the bad guys, finally uh, morphing into the uh, the Megazord, um, using two big-ass swords and stabbing that motherfucker, pimp-slapping Rita was, uh, um, back to uh, space, and she freezes and shit again, so I'm not sure if she's coming back for a sequel, if they do a sequel. I hope they do, actually. I, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, <clears throat> there's tons more stuff to it, but uh, these are, that's the meat and potatoes. Hit me up, djrabies at gmail.com. I give it two thumbs up. Um, I highly recommend it to uh, you know to anybody who wants to check it out. It's kind of a, um, a mixture of a, you know, a teen kind of movie and um, a, uh, uh, I don't know, an action movie. And... Uh, it's kind of nostalgic to see if you grew up in that era. Hit me up, djrabies at gmail.com. All right, peace.